Hello everyone and welcome to College Sports Today for Tuesday, August 12th. I'm Adam Azer. This time of year, if you're making headlines in college football, you're probably injured. And two teams with national championship aspirations were hit hard yesterday. Number one, Georgia lost its starting left tackle, Trenton Sturdivant, for the season. This guy was a freshman All-American last year, freshman All-SEC. He hurt his knee scrimmaging yesterday. He'll need reconstructive surgery. ACC favorite Clemson will be without defensive tackle Rashad Jackson for half the season at least. He'll have surgery today to repair a torn quad tendon. Jackson started 10 games last year. Yesterday, court documents from a class action lawsuit against the NCAA were obtained. Former college athletes claimed that the NCAA did not cover the entire cost of their education. A settlement was reached. The NCAA will reimburse those athletes by creating a $10 million fund. Also, it will allot $218 million to D1 schools to cover benefits for college athletes enrolled between 2007 and 2013. All right, let's get to the Olympics now. Yesterday, the Americans dominated in the pool. Of course, Michael Phelps stood out, but also USC's Rebecca Sony. She won the silver medal in the 100-meter breaststroke. In gymnastics, a very good performance for Team USA, claiming the bronze medal behind China and Japan. Oklahoma's Jonathan Horton stepped up. He scored a 15.625 on the parallel bars. Then he outdid himself on the high bar, a very impressive 15.7. Let's look at some news and notes. Today, prized high school tight end Arthur Fontaine will let everyone know where he's going to college. He'll choose between Georgia, Maryland, BC, and Virginia. And at Ole Miss, star defensive end Greg Hardy has a stress fracture in his right foot. He's out six to eight weeks, 10 sacks last year for Hardy. That led the SEC. Want to buy a piece of history? Well, if you're a Kansas fan, you can do just that. Squares of the Alamo Dome Court, where Kansas won the Men's Basketball National Championship in March, are for sale. You can buy an 11 and 3 fourths inch square for $225. This week, get ready for the upcoming football season by watching some of the SEC's best games from recent years on SEC Football Rewind, part of the CBS College Sports Television Network's Summer Refreshments. To watch college sports 24 hours a day, get the CBS College Sports Television Network. I'm Adam Azer. This is College Sports Today. See you tomorrow.